is basically synonymous with modern music. Record producer and songwriter David Foster, he joins us now here on The Blend before three live shows on stage at the Encore Theater at the Wynn. David, welcome back to Las Vegas. What's your prep been like? Uh, this is the Hitman Tour. Well, thanks for having me. Um, I don't know why Vegas would want me three nights in a row, but it seems to be working and we have a lot of fun out there and uh, it's gonna be great to be back. I mean, my whole live performance thing came from before your time, when I used to help Andre Agassi with his events, um, maybe you remember them as a kid. Um, and that's how I sort of got my performing uh, chops together. And that has led to the last decade with me touring. And it's a fun show with, you know, obviously, songs that I produced and written and with great singers and uh, there's always surprises. One of the things is I love to go to the audience and get people to sing. So just FYI, if you're a singer and you want to show me what you got, um, come on down uh, to Vegas at the Wind Theater, the Encore Theater, I'm sorry. In fact, I mean, listen, anyone who's in music wants an opportunity to meet with the David Foster. So I love that you did a little, it's impossible, my friend, for you not to name drop, okay? So you just have like, you have like a, a fair pass. You mentioned Agassi, but I mean, people know you as being connected to Buble, Bocelli, Aguilera, um, you know, Donna Summer, Madonna. It's like endless, the people that you've worked with, um, written songs for, and that's part of the joy of seeing your show. David, I was at your show in January in Vegas. No way. Oh, so, oh, wow, that's awesome. Well, you have to come again because we well, hopefully we won't have that technical glitch next time. If okay. you remember. I'm so glad you brought that up because I would love to bring this up. Okay, we got to tell people what happened because this is a great, it's a classic lesson to a performer. So here's what happens. The show's about to start and David Foster has a video that's going to play and it's going to give some of the highlights of his, oh, I don't know, 16 Grammy filled career. The video doesn't play properly. And it's a technical glitch. And then the video doesn't play again a second time properly. Now, this is brilliant, David. You know why? Because you had to come out and the first thing everyone wanted to know is if you were going to address this or not. And you did. And it was hilarious. Really? Wow. Oh, yeah. And I made the Adele comment. And, and yeah, because that was on the heels. Of, well, I want to say, first of all, that the win and Encore Theater had nothing to do with that glitch. And uh, it was it was totally on our end. And it was just one of those things that happens. We have a great crew and we had done 20 shows before that with not a glitch because you know, we have that big screen, which is kind of hard to deal with and pack around the country. But um, it was just a glitch. And uh, again, but uh, thanks for mentioning it in a kind way. Well, here's the thing, man. No, it was better than kind. It was fantastic. And, and you did make a, a comment about Adele um, that was funny, but then it kind of gave you this fodder all throughout the show, you know, because yeah. people are there thinking, you know, this, this David Foster, um, you know, I know he's so accomplished and he knows and has worked with so many celebrities. But let me tell you, my friend, it's your kind of personality and showmanshipness, as it were, as it were, that makes this into a show itself. It's really you as a personality sitting there at your piano, kind of dealing with what is, you know, coming up real for you in that moment that makes it a show worth getting a ticket for and coming down to see. So I thoroughly enjoyed it. My husband enjoyed it as well. And um, I think you're going to have a whole lot. Who knows what's going to happen this week at the win? Yeah. You're saying that, and you know, for me, I'm a basically, as you know, a behind the scenes person. Uh, and this last decade, I've discovered touring and being able to, you know, get a reaction from people of the songs that I've written and produced. But for all the artists that you mentioned and the others that I've worked with, you know, there's a lot of producers and writers in and out of their lives. And I've just been fortunate to be one of them. And when you gather that whole body of work together over a 45 year career, it, uh, it can work out to be a nice two hour show. Certainly, um, my friend, you have so many stories to tell. And um, it's really exciting that there's a little bit of looseness in that show that I think you can have stories kind of uh, come up. You also have guests, you welcome guests in the show. And we are talking the creme de la creme of talent. If anyone is stepping out on that stage and you're handing them a microphone, we know they are super talented. Among them, of course, your dear wife. Yes, Kat, um, just sort of accidentally and by accident has is, is toured with me and has been touring with me um, because um, she's in between, she, you know, she's eventually gonna end up on Broadway again, probably or on a TV show, but for now, She's all mine. So it's really a great bonus for the for the crowd. And she's not really billed, I don't think. It's just, it's my show. But when she comes out, as you probably witnessed, she gets a, a thunderous ovation, and, and, as she should. 
Yeah, not only that, but then um, I, I can sense she gets to have fun. She got to come out in the crowd. My favorite number of hers, she came out and did a country song um, and she walked around the audience and the women, like she was just getting us all riled up. It was, it was a fabulous number. Um, David, it's a pleasure. You know, we know you are, of course, a West Coast Canadian. There's so many Canadians um, here. Uh, actually, my Canadian cousins are coming down from Canada this weekend. Um, so I'll have to remind them that you will be on stage. Um, that's, are they coming that's to see? Uh, are they, any chance? Isn't Michael starting soon? Think, Michael Bublé? Oh, oh my gosh! Another great friend of yours, of course. Um, you know, I, I know they've seen Bublé many times. I don't know if they have tickets this time. Yes. That's a show I want to go to. I mean, I'm going to fly to Vegas just to see his show because he's so amazing, and we're all so proud of him. He's a real national treasure for Canada, um, as Celine is as well, and. As you well know, Celine sort of changed the face of, uh, of music and making Vegas the first stop for everybody instead of the last stop. Oh, my gosh. She just has done a, an epic number of shows here at, at, the, at the Caesars Coliseum. It's just, it's just awesome to have her here. And so many other Canadian talents like yourself. David, have a great show. Um, I, I know you're going to enjoy Vegas. I know you always enjoy visiting. So I hope you have a wonderful audience. And I hope. Um, you know, that uh, you come up with something very spontaneous to say to the audience. I right? will, I promise. It's Vegas, baby. We got to do something incredible because it's Vegas. Yes, we are feeling it. You can see David Foster. So many folks talking about this show. Uh, I saw it last January. It's the Hitman Tour featuring special guest, his wife, Catherine McPhee. Might be a few other talented folks that come out on stage. You never know what David has got up his sleeve. The shows are the 22nd and 23rd at, of course, the beautiful Encore Theater, Inside the Wind. Check it out.